Hello. In today's session, we will be discussing about the historical developments of aviation industry in the world. Please allow me to share the screen. So aviation industry got a recognition mostly during the World War I, that was between 1914 to 1918. The US built about 17,000 aircraft and trained about 10,000 pilots, which was a massive number. After the World War, uh, surplus aircraft were converted to civilian commercial use from military. 1925 year marked uh, the Air Mail Act, which authorized the U.S. Postal Service to award air mail routes to private contractors. Another historical development was in 1926, where the Air Corners Act provided for the certification of an aircraft and the airmen, the drafting and implementation of air traffic rules, and the creation of civil airways. In 1927, the government stopped operation of its own air mail routes and transferred the business to commercial aviation. The government required air carriers to provide space for passengers in order to reduce the cost of the mail transport and thus contributed to the airline passenger industry. In 1938, the Civil Aeronautics Act provided for the establishment of Civilian Aeronautic Board to set up routes, fares and safety standards. The intent was to encourage the development of air transportation. In 1978, Airline Deregulation Act permitted air carriers to set their own routes. By 1982, they were also allowed to set fares as well. The aviation timeline, the Wright Brothers flight, was the beginning of the aviation history in the world. In the 1900s, we noticed many attempts made for the flight to take off, uh, which was again, you know, halted because of the onset of the World War I between 1914 to 1918, followed by another severe challenge of the Great Depression that was between 1929 to 1941. And post that, we have a resurrection of the Second World War between 1939 to 1945 with the attack on the Pearl Harbor, which thereby brought about another period of the Cold War, which began at 1945. So we could say that it was during this period that we had humble beginnings of the aviation industry, but it was uh, post-1940s uh, is when we actually saw the development in a more serious manner for the aviation industry. Things would be incomplete without mentioning one of the most recent challenges that the aviation industry faced, which was the COVID era. The industry was bleeding with people not traveling. Many air, uh, airlines had to shut business. And the, the, the top eight challenges which the aviation industry faced because of, um, you know, things which were happening before COVID, that is the pre-COVID era was fuel efficiency, the global economic competition, the passenger comfort, airline infrastructure, global congestion, uh, technological advancements, terrorism, and climate change. These were the challenges pre-COVID era. But it was during the COVID era that we could see that the pandemic had a real long-term effect on aviation industry. Hygiene and safety standards became more stringent, and digitalization will definitely continue to transform the travel experience. Mobile apps and other latest technologies, which had an option to, uh, you know, include the vaccine certifications and test results, etc., were part of the journey of the aviation industry. Sanitization and uh, hygiene was the most important objective of the aviation industry. The six top challenges in the airline market due to COVID was definitely the less availability of flights, the shortage of labor, low international air travel, and of course, change in the airport traffic. Also issues in processing times and also a huge hit in the impact uh, in terms of the airport revenue was seen during the COVID times in the aviation industry. So back to future, 
uh, every airline industry must be prepared for the worst. Leisure trips will definitely fuel the recovery, but there's a staggering debt levels which will lead to ticket price increase and larger role of government in the sector. We will definitely see a greater disparity of performance among airlines in the future.